my lovelies. It is time for another round of Have I Read It? So stay tuned. So June has been another ridiculous month so far. Uh, so we had the first week of June was, we were still on vacation. And then the day we got back from vacation, my mom arrived and she stayed for a week. Um, and as I'm filming this, it's only June 16th. Uh, I've actually got more visitors coming later in the month when I would normally be filming all of these videos. So I wanted to do it ahead of time so I could get it edited ahead of time. So I wouldn't have to do that while I had company here. Um, so at this point in time, what I've read in June is minimal. <laughs> because, and I imagine what I'm going to continue to read in June is going to be minimal because all the time between visitors, I'm just trying to get videos filmed and edited and uploaded and all that stuff so that I don't have to do anything while they're here. So, I'm going to take it easy uh, as far as punishments go in these different TBR games again this month. Uh, but let's just get into how I did last month, or how I did this month at this point. So these are the seven books that I was supposed to read for June's Have I Read It. We have The Savior's Champion, The Never List, Itsy Bitsy Spider, The Stranger I Married, Sky in the Deep, the Color of B. Larkham's Murder, and Fables. And I can tell you that The Savior's Champion, The Never List, Itsy Bitsy Spider, and The Stranger I Married, I have not read any of those. <laughs> as far as these three go, The Sky in the Deep, I am currently on page 270 of this. Marty and I are actually listening to this together, so this will be finished this month. The Color of Beale Arkham's Murder. I am currently on page 80 of this. Uh, so this will also be done this month. And then Fables, I started uh, while I was on vacation and just haven't gotten back around to it. Uh, I'm only this far in, just, just getting started. There's no page number, so I'm not entirely sure what page I'm on. But I do intend on finishing this this month as well. So as far as punishments go, the only thing I'm going to have myself do is I'm going to take one of these four that I haven't read and that's going to carry over. So I'm going to carry over the Savior's Champion. This one is the biggest one of them all too. Future editing me here. Uh, instead of carrying over the Savior's Companion or Champion, uh, I decided not to carry this one over and instead I'm going to carry over The Stranger That I Married by Sylvia Day. These other three I'll just put in my extras. <laughs> okay, so I had to hunt down my earbuds because Xander had once again taken them, but I found them hooked up to his Xbox controller. The kid has like three other pairs of earbuds that are all his, but he keeps taking mine. I don't know why. Anyway, I've got the video pulled up, so let me plug in my earbuds and we will get started. Okay, so from looking at the thumbnail, it looks like it's going to be a rather hefty haul, but not as big as some of the others I've had. Let's just hope that I have read a lot of these. <laughs> All right. Oh, also, uh, next month is our Summertime Reads Readathon, so I'm hoping to be able to pick books that I can use to complete challenges for that. We'll see how this goes. All right. Let's get started. Hey, guys. It's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today, I have my July book haul for you, so stay tuned. So these are all of the books that I've accumulated in July from all of the places other than Book Outlet because I do the Book Outlet hauls a separate video. These are giveaways that I've won or subscription boxes or just books that I've bought from websites other than Book Outlet or local bookstores or whatever. So 
here's what I have this nice big stack I have one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 books and a magazine. So let's just get right into it. So the first book that I have here is The Oracle Year by Charles Soleil and this is a signed first edition. Okay, I have not read that. Hold on. <laughs> Here's how we're starting out. Okay, so this is the Oracle Year by Charles Soleil. This is a signed first edition. This was something I actually won from a Goodreads giveaway three years ago. Uh, this says, knowledge is power. So when an unassuming Manhattan bassist named Will Dando awakens from a dream one morning with 108 predictions about the future in his head, he rapidly finds himself the most powerful man in the world. And I remember thinking that this sounded really cool and also the cover is really cool. It's like... There's not a jacket either. It's made on here and I just think it's really interesting. So don't know why I haven't read it yet. Probably because I have 15 million other books that uh, I all want to read. <laughs> all right, what's next? Okay, so next is a book that's actually a Xander book, but it came in his Geek Fuel quarterly box. And that is Lego Star Wars Chronicles of the Force. Discover the story of the Lego Star Wars galaxy. This is a Xander book. Uh, I'm going to just mark this as unhauled because it's been given to Xander. And I actually think he has since unhauled it as well. And then came the book from his May Alcrate Jr. box. And that was This Be Fee Stoop and the Black Mountain. That's by Zach Gorman. I haven't read this. I don't think I've unhauled it. Give me one second to find that. Okay, so this middle grade looks super cute. Looks like there's gonna be some kind of adventure with lots of different uh, beasts and goblins. And, and it almost gives me like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of feel. I don't know why. It, maybe because there's dungeons and possibly dragons. <laughs> But it looks like it's going to be really cute. So I could definitely do with some uh, easy middle grades this month. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Now on to my June Owl Crate book. And that was from Twinkle with Love by Sandea Minion. I don't know that I have read this one. Hold on. I know that I read... Uh, when Dimple met Rishi, but I can't remember if I read that from Twinkle with Love. Give me one second to look it up. No, I have not read it, so let me go grab it. Okay, this is a cute little rom-com about a girl who wants to become a big director, and she's getting ready for some kind of film festival, and it, she thinks it's going to get her closer to this boy that she's had like a lifetime crush on, uh, but the his twin brother is the one that's helping her with things and he's very dorky and stuff and somehow she finds herself falling for the dorky brother instead. He says he's totally adorkable. <laughs> All right, let me get back to the video here. All right, what's next? And then we have Xander's June Alcrate Jr. box, and that is Grump, The Fairly True Tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves by Lysel Shirtliff. I have read this one, so yay. Okay, so this next book here came from one of my Strand subscription boxes, and this was from the Sci-Fi Fantasy box, and this was the additional book because they always come with two books so this was the additional book not the main book and that was we by Yevgeny Zamyatin definitely have not read this one hold on I actually remember uh the last time I was reorganizing my shelves and stuff and I came across this and I was like where did I even get this book from <laughs> I couldn't remember so now I know it was from, from one of my strand boxes uh, but this is only 223 pages, so 
this might be an excellent one to put on my TBR. Also, it's a very floppy uh, paperback. Let's see. So this book was the inspiration for George or Orwell's 1984. Uh, it's about a totalier, to, total totalitarian society, words, uh, of one state ruled over by an all-powerful benefactor. Yeah, this might be an excellent choice for this month because it's so small. It's also a Penguin classic. All right, next. And then the main book from that box is The Book of M by Penge Shepherd. <sighs> I have not read that one either. Have I read any? Well, I've read a couple that I've said so far, but it doesn't feel like I've read anything in this haul so far. All right, let me find that. Okay, so this is a sci-fi set in a dangerous near future world. The Book of M tells the captivating story of a group of ordinary people caught in ordinary catastrophe, in, caught in an extraordinary catastrophe who risk everything to save the ones they love. All right. Looks like I'm gonna have quite a few to choose from this month. Next. So the next book here came from another Strand subscription box and that was the Feminist Literature Box. So this was the additional book. And that is You Play the Girl on Playboy Bunnies, Stepford Wives, Trainwrecks, and Other Mixed Messages by Karina Chicano. All right. I have not read that. <sighs> okay. Okay. Here we go. This is, I think, nonfiction. Uh, it says, in You Play the Girl, Chicano blends formative personal stories with insightful and emotionally powerful analysis. Moving from Bugs Bunny to Playboy Bunnies, Flashdance to Frozen, the progressive 70s through the backlash 80s, the glib 90s, and the pornified aughts. And at stops in between, she explains how growing up in the shadow of the girl taught her to think about herself and the world and what it means to raise a daughter in the face of these contorted reflections. Oh, it says, uh, in the tradition of Roxane Gay, Rebecca Solnit, and Suzanne Sontag, Chicano brilliantly shows that our identities are more fluid than we think and certainly more complex than anything we see on any kind of screen. All right. I wouldn't mind a good nonfiction this month either. All right, hold on. Next up. And then this was the main book in that box, and that is Essays on Surviving an American Obsession, Dead Girls by Alice Bolin. Didn't read that one either. Hold on. Okay, this one says in this poignant collection, Alice Bolin examines iconic American works from the essays of Joan Didion and James Baldwin to Twin Peaks, Britney Spears, and Serial, illuminating the widespread obsession with women who are abused, killed, and disenfranchised and whose bodies dead and alive are used as props to bolster men's stories. Alrighty. What's next? And then also in that box, we got the magazine Bust with Erica Badu, the 25th anniversary issue. And it says Amber Tamlin, Titus Burgess, Karachun Tron, legal sex work, satanic feminists, and more. I probably unhauled the magazine because I don't really do magazines. And then in my young adult strand box, the additional book was an arc of the cheerleaders by Kara Thomas. I have read that. <sighs> Feels like it's been forever since I've been able to say I've read that. Okay, yay, I've read that. Moving on. <laughs> Next was the main book in the Young Adult Strand subscription box, and that was Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel. Haven't read that. Hold on. This says, once upon a time back at Darrow Harker School, Beatrice Hartley and her five best friends were the cool kids, the beautiful ones. Then the shocking death of their of Jim, their creative genius, and Beatrice's boyfriend changed everything. Mm. 
I think I've like read one out of every four or five in this haul. I don't know. All right, next. Okay, so the next book I have here is from a giveaway that I won from another YouTube video, and that was from Cornelia over at Subscription Box Addict, and I'll leave her link down in the description. But she does like monthly giveaways of books that she's read and doesn't want to keep, or books that she's gotten doubles of, or things that have come in subscription boxes that she's just not going to use. So she does a monthly giveaway for that. So check her out. So the book that I won is Eleanor Ophelian is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. Okay, a couple of things here. So Cornelia, for one, her channel is no longer Subscription Addict or yeah, I think that's what it was called. It's actually Cece's Reading Journey. And that's Cece that I do my mid-month reading sprints with uh, and the end of the month on her channel. So that's, that's pretty funny. Uh, also, I haven't read that. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see where it is. This says, Eleanor Ophelian leads a simple life. She wears the same clothes to work every day, eats the same meal for lunch every day, and buys the same two bottles of vodka to drink every weekend. Eleanor Ophelian is happy. Nothing is missing from her carefully timetabled existence, except sometimes everything. All right. Man, that stack's getting big. <sighs> All right. What else do we have? We still have like nine minutes left of this video and I see there's still a stack left. So these next two books I have here I bought off of Amazon and they are book two and three of the Unseen Trilogy by Stephanie Erickson. I've read both of those. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> okay, so next we have books that I got from my Totally Book Crate subscription box. So this was from the May box, and that is Lifelike by Jay Kristoff. Nope. Haven't read that. Hold on, I gotta go find it. Alright, this says, your body is not your own, your mind is not your own, your life is not your own. Alright. Will that fit there? Okay, I have no more room. <laughs> Still got more books though. And the next book was my June Totally Book Crate. And that is Sweet Black Waves by Christina Perez. No. Hold on. Man, oh man. Have I not read a lot of these? Okay. Oh has a signed book plate in it. This says, two proud kingdoms stand on opposite shores with only a bloody history between them. All right. I see star-crossed love. All right. Oh, let's move those over. Okay. Okay, so the next three books were from the special extra box that Jenny from Totally Booked Crate and My Guilty Pleasures Book Crate sent me. She actually sent me one book from each of the genres that they do in the My Guilty Pleasures Book Crate. So super thankful for that. And I'll also leave the links to all of these boxes and stuff down in the description. Okay, so the first one we have here is The Art of Sinning by Sabrina Jeffries. I have read that one. <sighs> okay. And then we have Bro Code by Kendall Ryan. Haven't read that one. Hold on. All right. This looks like it's going to be uh, an erotica kind of book. Uh, it says, there's pretty much only one rule when you're a guy. Don't be a douche. Turns out the fastest way to break that rule is to fall for your best friend's sister. All right. Okay. Next up. And then last but not least, we have All of the Little Lights by Jamie McGuire. I have not read that. Hold on. This is another floppy paperback, but man, it's a thick one. 
Uh, this says, everything buried will come to light. From New York Times best-selling author Jamie McGuire comes a riveting tale of first love that starts young but runs deep. All right, now I'm going to double check that that is actually the last one. Okay, that was the last book. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, give me a minute. I'm going to look and see which of these will fit any of our summertime read prompts. And then I'll come back and tell you which six I choose. Okay, here is what I have decided on. So I'm going to read All the Little Lights by Jamie McGuire for a summer job, which is to read a book over 400 pages. And this one has 412, so this will work for that. For Lazy Days at the Beach, read a beach read. I'm going to pick from Twinkle with Love by Sindea Mignon, because this seems like a good beachy kind of read, light and fluffy. Uh, then, let's see, for Get a Tan, read something that's gonna make you hot. I'm gonna read Bro Code by Kendall Ryan. For Off to Summer Camp, read a book with an outdoor setting. I'm going to read The Book of M by Ping Shepherd. For Summertime Sunsets, read a book with red, orange, and or yellow on the cover. I'm going to read You Play the Girl on Playboy Bunny, Stepford Wives, Trainwrecks, and Other Mixed Messages by Karina Chicano. Chicano, yeah. Uh... And then for Late Night Fireworks, read a book that you're excited about. I'm excited about this book because it's small, but it's not small enough to work for uh, Summer t summer Fling. Uh, so I'm excited for uh, We by Yevinji uh, Zamat Zamatian, because it's a very short one. So these are the six books that I will be reading for July. Uh, for this round of Have I Read It? Uh, but also, I'm going to be reading The Stranger I Married by Sylvia Day. And this can actually fulfill the prompt, travel abroad, read a book set in a country other than your own, because this one is set in London. So there we go. These are the seven that I'll be reading for at least those seven prompts. If you want to see what I'll be reading for all of the prompts, you'll have to wait until my Wheel of TBR once I kind of figured everything out. So have you guys read any of these books? Did you like them? Did you not? Comment down below and let me know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!